album on YouTube, and we did a whole series on heroin. Um, and a lot of people were able to come up and kind of like discuss their issues um, and some professionals. So I'm going to play what she said. This is how stupid she is. And I'm going to offer real comp- commentary on it. Not my business, not my circus. So here we go. These people to fucking fight. I ain't fucking worried about Brian's battles. Here we go. I had baby blues, I agree. While she's smoking in her house, she's saying this. Um, she's going to ask all of us. This is a flat <laughs> out <laughs> lie. Oh. I cannot believe this girl said that. this. Now I get it. Uh, then, oh, the best is Alicia turns around and says that I'm a horrible mother because I smoke in my house. Right. Alicia, you've spoken a lot of things uh-huh. about your past addiction, as even as recent as recently. You said that you relapsed. Uh-huh. You also stated that you used to do heroin. Never. Did you do this around your son? Absolutely. You, or were not. you a drug addict only outside of the house? Absolutely. Did you not. never get high in front of your child? Are you fucking Stop kidding me? Throwing things at somebody else, Alicia. Take a look at your own life. Three quarters of these fucking people in your chat are on more drugs than I've ever been on to begin with. Whether it's this fucking horse faced bitch had the nerve. To say that I was a drug addict and, oh, didn't you try doing it in front of your kids or didn't you do it in front of your kids? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious, Laura? You are a liar. That is a lie. I never. Pull up. I'm going to let. Has anybody ever, ever heard me say that I was a drug addict? If she fucking knew how to comprehend things right, she would know that I said I had a past addiction with gambling. Gambling, Laura. Gambling and heroin are two different things. I, Suzanne, honestly, I don't care. Let her run her mouth. The only thing I will say is I thought that she had said that she did heroin. I was wrong. My bad. Not that big of a deal. Like, honestly, it's really not that big of a deal. I want you to hear, I'm in shock right now. I'm sorry, y'all. And then you're going to go legal. Give me a fucking break. I never like, said anything about up? going legal on this bitch. I never said anything about going legal on her. This um, bitch is delusional. She really is. She's delusional. I believe. This is something else she's I, saying. I totally agree, Sarah. You think I care what Sarah says about me? That's what I'm saying. All you guys know about it, I don't even know about it. I don't care to know about it. Like, yeah, I just don't care. Here she goes. And I'm getting the blame for it. Really? I'm probably the only one that doesn't know the situation or doesn't care to know the situation. But you speak about it openly. Not my circus. Okay. enough for these people to fucking This is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. It's about to happen. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. I Baby blues, I agree. Um, I am floored. I'm like shaking right now. Ask all of us. <laughs> what do you mean it's gonna ask all? Of us? Oh, <laughs> it took. They're making fun of my accent. <laughs> uh, then, oh, the best is Alicia turns around and says that I am a horrible mother because I smoke in my house. You are, Alicia. You've spoken a lot of things about your past addiction, as even as recent as recently. You said that you relapsed. You also stated that you used to do heroin. Never. Did you do this around never. your son? Did you, or were you a drug addict only outside of the house? What? Did you never get high in front of your child? Oh. Stop fucking throwing things at somebody else, Alicia. Oh. Take a look at your own life. Oh. Three quarters oh. of these fucking people in your chat are on more drugs than I've ever been oh. to begin with. What? Whether it's for mental illness. Whether Get the over, fuck out of here, Laura! No matter what it is, they are on more drugs than I've ever been on in combined in my entire life. What the I fuck? Just not do them around their kids. Oh, I know. If it's doctor prescribed, uh, then it doesn't uh, matter if they're higher on their children, right? Uh, if they're on um, what? Uh, Zola. Oh my or, god! I don't even know some of these drugs. Uh, um, whatever drugs it is that they take around their kids and they. Do you hear this shit? Whatever. But because it's given by a doctor, then it shouldn't matter, right? 
It then it She's such a fucking liar. Fuck you, Alicia, with this bullshit about, oh, I abuse my kids. Fuck you. I, you only wish that your kids turned out as good as mine are. Oh, get the so fuck out of here. Zip it. And then you are saucy, goes in there. I don't know what was said. This motherfucker here. I never once fucking said I had a heroin addiction. I never tried heroin in my life, you dumb cunt. Pull up where I said I was addicted to heroin, you fucking cunt. Pull it up. Because I fucking do a series on heroin because of my brother. And now I'm addicted to heroin? That is the most defaming shit I have ever heard in my life. I have never, ever said, ever said I did heroin. Ever. I've never been addicted to drugs in my life. Ever. I've been very lucky because I come from a family of drug addicts. That's what I said. The one addiction I had, and I relapsed, and your little friend knows it, is I had a gambling problem, you stupid bitch. And yes, I relapsed, you cunt. I'm in shock. I'm like so mad right now, and I have no one to talk to, because I've never, ever been accused of doing, like... Heroin, I don't cry for anyone at all. Like, I don't ever fucking cry, but I've never, ever, ever been accused of doing heroin. I've never had it. I would never, if I ever did drugs, I would never do them in front of my kid, ever. My kid and I are, like, very close. I could never do that. I could never, ever do that. That is fucking cruel to even say that. I would never do drugs, and I would never do them in front of my kid. You said the most fucking defaming thing that anyone has ever said. I have never done heroin. How could you even say that? How could you even say that, you fuck up bitch? I cannot believe that you would ever fucking say about me. Because I have my opinion about you smoking cigarettes in the house. You are going to stoop to the lowest fucking level to compare a heroin addiction to fucking smoking cigarettes in the house. Are you out of your fucking mind? You fucking delusional bitch. Then you're going to say... That Barbie and Kim fucking want nothing to do with me. You don't know the half of why they want nothing to do with me. But at one point, they didn't want anything to do with you either, bitch. Because you're so fucking toxic and you spew nothing but lies. You lied. You lied to hundreds of people in your life. You have a troll that's after me that I don't know even who they are. You lie, and I'm sick of the lies on YouTube. I'm over it. Point on, you're getting reported every time you mention my name on your channel because you can't tell the truth. Today was the, the last straw with you. I tried to warn you on Facebook, and you laughed. You laughed at me. You laughed at me, Laura. I tried to tell you to leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I haven't done anything to you. Leave me alone, and you're going to fucking talk lies on me, and you're going to call that content. Even say that. How can you even say that, Laura? I could never fucking do drugs in front of my child or do that to myself. I don't do that. I have a soft spot in my heart for addicts. That's why I did the live. I did the live. She is creating this false narrative that she, she's becoming a victim of the false narrative that she created. It, it's ridiculous. 
And she does not see her own actions. She doesn't see the things she does and says to cause a reaction. Haley Ann, so she can run with whatever false narrative she wants to run with. And all the fucking morons in her chat can stay there. After I gave a couple of days silence because I came back to defend myself. That is why there's no more peace. I came back and everybody that's in the chat fucking agging on everything that was going on in fucking the troops chat when she put Michael Trimley on a platform so all three of them could bash me, okay? But yet, they all want peace, but they're going to get on a platform and bash the fuck out of me. And guess who's in the chat agging everything on? Everybody that's Kim's little circle and friends and Barbie's. All of them were in that chat, egging it on. But they're the first ones to say, oh, I put my sword down with everybody. They're fucking hypocrites. I'm so sick of the hypocrisy in this fucking community. It's so fucking thick. It's so thick. They're making fun of my accent. They fucking, they don't want anything they can do to get under my skin. I can't take it. It's not about being weak. I would fuck you up, bitch. If you ever fucking came on my face, I would knock you the fuck out. I can't even imagine what mental illness somebody has that she's going on and on and on with lie after lie after lie after lie. She threatened to fucking kill me. Okay, if you guys didn't, didn't hear that, she threatened to kill me. That's okay. Not one person in her chat blinked an eye. You would fucking be knocked out unconscious. I would knock every one of those fucking crooked teeth out of your fucking mouth if you ever fucking came in my face. It has nothing to do with weak skin. I fucking paneled up with you and serendipity, and I, I never cowered down from that motherfucker, and I never cowered down from you to truth. I went on your fucking panel, and I fucking had it out with that dumb cunt. That's behind a male profile. It ain't about being a coward. I am not a coward. No, I've never been called a coward in my life. I will fucking face you nose to nose in person any day of the fucking week. You name it and I'm there. Don't you ever fucking call me a coward. I am not a coward, you dumb cunt. I'm sick of you fucking lying about me. That's all you do is lie about me. And a bitch that lied about me in the past she got hers, too. Quit lying about people, Laura. You don't know what went on between me and Barbie. You weren't on that three-way call. You don't know what happened between Kim and I. You need to fucking shut your mouth about me, Kim, and Barbie. You really do. You bring up their names on your channel too much, and that's why I have to fucking kick back, and I sit back and watch, and I fucking come right back. And that's why I talk about their names on my channel. You can't fucking be saying shit about them and expect me not to fucking correct you on your lies. They, they can say whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. They, they are just victim. She's And then she sits there and cries. You don't even know Kim's correct age. I told you on Facebook, and all you could do is laugh at it. You didn't want to fucking admit the fact that you're bullying. You didn't want to admit the fact that you're wrong. You didn't want to admit anything. You want to laugh about it. I've asked you to leave me alone for days now. You won't leave me alone. You won't leave me alone. You enjoy this, Laura. I left you alone for days. Never mention my name. Never mention your name. And you're going to get on a panel and start bashing me because you can't keep your mouth shut, girl. I said I was sorry. I got it wrong about the drugs. Okay. But I could have sworn she said that she was on drugs um, when Marissa relapsed. Okay. Not a big deal. Not sure why she's making an ass out of herself, but okay. Keep going with it. Top Cop, why don't you listen to that again? Can you get a fucking go on your platform and spew out the faming slanderous lies about me, you fucking low-life retard. I fucking hate you, girl. I swear to God, you better pray that we never meet in person. You better pray to God that I never see you in New Orleans. I don't believe in God. Because you will not fucking live to go back home. I promise you. 
If I, I you will not live to go back home. That's not a death threat, Top Cop. That's a fucking death threat, dude. Sorry. I don't know what fucking world you're on. That's a death threat. Alicia. Wow. Who else is up here? I can't see. It's Marissa. Remy, can you can you can you step down, please, for a minute? No. Can you please have some respect and let me talk to my friends, please? I was just talking to her and trying to I know. Can you get off? Down. Can you just get off right now? Wait. Wait. Alicia, just take a... Alicia, just take a... to do with you. Marissa, wait, wait a minute. So get the fuck off. No. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, Marissa. Just wait. No. Wait. I said step down now. Um, no. I don't Alicia, take orders from you. No. I'm, I'm, I don't want to fight. Alicia, me. just take a, take a couple deep breaths. And calm yourself down and go from there. Just, you know, something, just really? breathe easily and, you know, just, you know, what these people say to you doesn't matter. What these people say about you doesn't matter. You know who you are. You know that. That's all that matters. I know, I know. You know who you are. That's all that matters. I appreciate that, Remy. All right. Bye. Bye, hon. Bye. Thanks, Marissa. Fuck you, by the way. You there? I'm done. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I mean, you know, they, they can get mad at me all they want. Okay. I'm not going to get bitched at because I have someone you know, that's on my panel that she doesn't like. I can't. I can't do it. I can't.